Hello and welcome to chapter 3, uh, lesson 1, starting on flash 3-6. Uh, the very first thing I did is I opened up the uh, fl3-1.fla. You'll notice that there's the car right there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight around this particular image, a marquee around this particular image. And from here, I'm going to do a modify, and I'm going to convert to symbol. So I'm going to create a symbol about it. And what's going on here by creating a symbol, you'll learn as you go through the rest of the chapter, when you start to, or excuse me, the rest of the lesson, when you change things related to that symbol, all instances of that symbol on your stage will change. So if I have multiple times that that symbol um occurs, it's almost like changing the template, but you kind of figure that out as you go through, and I kind of wanted you to know that straight away. So I've done a modify, convert to symbol. Uh, the name of itself will be gcar, right? So it'll be gcar. And then in the type list arrow, which is right here, I'm going to make sure it says graphic, which is perfectly fine. Then I'm going to set the registration to the upper left-hand corner, which is right there. And what that does is that actually puts the crosshairs when you have it selected in the upper left-hand corner. I then push OK. You'll notice here's a crosshair right here. All right. Then what I'm going to do... Um, it talks about uh, dragging one image below the other, but it doesn't really talk too terribly much about the fact that you actually have to copy it. So if you do an edit, copy, and then edit, paste, you actually have two instances of the car. So you're actually dragging one instance below, and that's important when you start making modifications. So we're going to click on the bottom car, which is true, and we're going to do a... Uh, modify and we're going to do a transform and we're going to do a flip horizontal so that's going to flip it horizontally this way and then with that item still selected I can go to my properties tab and on the style I can actually click alpha so I click my properties tab and I clicked alpha here you'll notice my alpha is all the way to the left now if I drag over here you'll notice that it actually turns 50% and it's kind of light and I'll notice that I can see it there and I'm changing this particular item itself and it gives it a more transparent look now I want to then display the library tab which is right there alright as I've created two different instances of the um, object itself the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have the selection tool I'm going to click uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Double click the GCAR symbol icon. So, what I'm doing is on page 3 8, it says display the library panel. Double click the GCAR symbol icon, which is this, and it actually displays up here. Then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, all right, I'm going to verify the selection tool is selected. That's correct. And then I'm going to click in the light gray hubcap area, which is right there. You'll notice that it then selects right there. If I hold my shift key and my keyboard down, and then I click select right here. It's now going to highlight both areas with the hubcap. Then I'm going to go along to my fill color, and then I'm going to go to my blue gradient. There's my blue gradient there. Um, now what I'm then going to do, I've done this a blue gradient, right? So now it's actually changed the underlying library where this object is and so now when I click on scene one you'll notice both instances since I change I will call it the template or um, the symbol that represents that object both of them change at the same time um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a drag a marquee and I'm on a flash 3-9 I'm going to drag a marquee around the bottom car to select it and I'm going to click Modify and then Break Apart. Mod modify, and then I want to choose Break Apart. Now what that's going to do is that's going to allow me to individually select parts of it so I can mess with it. Um, now I'm going to come along in here. I'm going to click this hubcap here. And then I'm going to hit my front hubcap. And then I'm going to change it to the light gray color for that. So here's my light gray color. 
Now you'll notice it'll only change this one because I broke that apart as a symbol itself. So this was individually um, taken away from the symbol or the overall template. Now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to double click the G car again. Now if I come along here, I am going to click the maroon front body, which is right there. And then I'm going to hit my shift key and then I'm going to hit the back body. Right, and then I'm going to hit the uh, the fill color to the red gradient swatch, and then what's going to happen there is thank you, I'm going to then go to properties and I'm going to change the fill color to this red gradient swatch for the two items, and notice it changes right there. Then if I click along and I go back to my scene one, since this is broken apart from this one, you'll see that it does actually indeed have a difference between the two. I would then save the item. Now, previous I was supposed to save this as coolcar.fla, so I will do a file, and I will do a save as. And now I would navigate to my folder, which is right there, and there's animation, and then I will come in and I will do coolcar.fla, coolcar.fla, and I will save it. Now, at this point in time, I have finished lesson two. Um, it didn't really take me too, or excuse me, lesson one, chapter three, lesson one. It didn't take me too terribly long. Um, and I hope if you have any particular questions, please feel free to ask. But we will move on to uh, the next lesson, which is lesson two. Thank you for your time.